Hello, this is Corvus Gaming and welcome to another edition of Let's Play Skyrim. Alright, let's do, let's attend the season on ending. Basically the treaty, the peace treaty. And I have decided which side I'll join. I will probably join the Imperial Legion for one simple reason. Not that I disapprove of Ulfric's intentions, it's they are very loyal, riches and noble for the people of Skyrim, the Nords. But I do sense that he's a bit racist. And besides, the true enemy of Skyrim is not Ulfric or the Empire, for that matter, it's the Almerian Dominion, the Falmor. So what I want to do is work with the Imperials, yes, work with the Imperials, and then the Blades. Interesting. And then kill the Falmor and the Almeri Dominion. But for that I need to join with the Empire. And that's that. By the way, what are the Blades doing here? Nyo will not attend anything. She never shut... She, she cannot stop talking. She cannot stop talking. It's so goddamn annoying. Alright, Nyo. You'll stay here inside. I don't want you to get cold and all, but shut the fuck up. You don't... Alright, wait here. Certainly. Be careful. Now this will be interesting. The Blades versus the Greybeards. Now this will be something interesting to see. Careful. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this map. That's a lie. Were you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. Delphic, we are not here to rehearse your tragedy. The matter at hand is urgent. All doing must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldrin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Uh, very well. You may enter. Hmm. <laughs> so, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to people. I should not have agreed to host this council. Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. No, they have. As a neutral faction, they must proceed and organize this treaty. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. And let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. We all wait upon you, Dragonborn. Alright, let's see what we can do. We'll pres you. You and are so the one. We meet again. But this time I know who and what you really are. I want to slice your throat now, bitch. Wolfric? I never thought I'd ever willingly stand in the same room with Tullius again. At least not without a weapon in my hand. It's good to be back in High Rocha after all these years. I'd just as soon get this over with. We should get started. Alduin is only getting stronger. I agree. Don't forget. All right, now let's do this. Is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit. You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. I agree. Your chief Talos hunter. That didn't take long. It's not that here, here. Sure. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please, 
If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. Sure. By Izmir's beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I. You're right. Falmor have no business here. No business. I'm glad we agree on this. Out with the Falmor. Enjoy your petty victory. The Falmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Falmor. Unlike your imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. Shut the up! The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. Temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons and nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullia, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. Yes. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Winterhold or Riften? In exchange for Marker, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honric, plus all the mead we can drink. Yeah, you're right. You're right. What do you have there? A bunch of mountains, a lot of sea. It's. I was thinking about the sea. It was rather strategical for you. But yet again, he would have a lot of resources. And by the way, Riften is near Cyrodiil, so it's the... Yes, what I was thinking. Riften is the fair trade for Markov. No question. I'm glad you agree. I was starting to wonder whose side you were on here. The Dragonborn has spoken, Tullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk with good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. 
I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. No, I not entirely. I that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? He has a great point. I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Show us bones. Where will these demands end? Out with it then. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. What? Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your butchery at him. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? What happened? I should have known better than to expect you to give us a fair hearing. Once again, the Empire takes the blame for the crimes of others. You know I can't agree to these terms. The Emperor would repudiate this treaty, and I would be recalled. Damn Imperial arrogance. Let's hear it. We want the Pale returned to Imperial control. The traitor Skull the Elder will be replaced with a more loyal candidate. What next, Talius? Shall I just hand over all of Skyrim? I guess I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide, although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. So, Dragonborn. What do you say? All right. Hmm. I knew I could count on you. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it Colovian brandy. These terms are still not acceptable. Do you see what talking to them gets us? Out with it then. Never mind. I can see that these are the best terms we'll get from this council. So be it. The Empire at least puts the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Mm, exactly. Our lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become. Holy the shit, that one! The Pale will be turned over to the Empire. Rina Merilis will assume the Jarlship in Dawnstar. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisir? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. 
Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. These terms blatantly favor the rebels. Everyone here knows that. But the Empire will accept them until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. All right. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Falgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. Right. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed troll of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Hmm. Cross referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alden has left out. Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Hmm. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. I see. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory of Vorm, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master voice like these worthy gentlemen but it is written here in the scroll Ud Amin winged snow hunter as I think hmm what do you know Parthenax the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. What? He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. He deserves so to die? Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. What? Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. I'll take my chances. He helped me and fought Alduin. So fuck you. Fuck you and the blades. No fucking. Fuck you and the blades. 